Okay. The other piece that I'd like, which we really don't have in this lesson planning guide, is a lesson reflection. Make sure you take time to think about what you did and what worked and what didn't. E even if it's at the end of the day, maybe I, I have a couple of new teachers who have kept a journal. And at the end of every day, they write you know, how it went, what went well, what frustrated them. Um, and they flip back and look at that from time to time. And it gives them a really good sense of, at the end of the school year, they see what they were struggling with at the beginning. They can see their highs and lows and, and what worked and what didn't. And, and it's been a very valuable resource for them. It helps you uh, learn how to do it even better the next time around. So one of the questions I would ask myself is, have I modeled what I expect students to do? Having them see or have examples of the outcome is very helpful. Maybe it's previous student work that you show them or uh, an essay that you have written and whatever it might be. Do you have materials that engage the student? Thinking about are there things you can move toward that collaborative piece that they can work on together so that that frees you up to spend more time with the students who need more help. So what can you do there? Was there something else I could have moved to collaborative work if I had given a short little instruction sense? And are independent tasks applying the learning in meaningful ways? Are they learning it just because they have to? And again, have you taught the procedures and routines that are needed? So it might require that you do stop and teach the strategy you want them to use first before you actually do the lesson. So I'd like to wrap this section up with asking you to think about the GRR and lesson planning process and think about what your next step might be in implementing it. Think about what you already know and what you're already doing and where you might head next. So if you could take 30 seconds to a minute or two. One of the steps you might have determined would be, let's try to use a basic lesson planning template to develop a lesson using GRR. Or you might want to go through the better learning through structured teaching or the first 20 days of establishing productive group work. That's a long title. Um, no wonder I can never remember it. And, and see, highlight, as Danny suggested, some of those strategies you think might work for you. You might want to continue to review your strategies that you like to use and see where they fit within the GRR model. Or you might want to focus on a single element of GRR first and get really good at that and practice it and then add in the others, move on to something else. Another possibility, a first step, might be to observe a veteran teacher using GRR, either somebody within your PLC or you will all be meeting with um, probably learning who the instructional coaches and the EL specialists are at your sites on Monday um, and working with them. They, could, they know who the good people are that are doing this well and can hook you up with that. Those of you who are in induction or an internship, you have two days worth of sub-release time paid for by the district for you to go observe other teachers. And I'll be explaining later how you document that for your site staff so that they know they don't have to pay for it, which always makes them happy. So you see, you know of a couple of teachers at your site or another site that you want to go see, but maybe uh, they don't, maybe they have your same prep and so you can't go see them on your prep or whatever. We can make arrangements for you to go observe. Because that's one of the most powerful ways to see a lot of this in action is watch other teachers do it. Usually well, but also you learn a lot from people who don't do it well. You can see what didn't work for them and, or how their style might be different than yours and how you might change it a different way. To wrap it up, I'm going to ask you to write down your top three takeaways your next steps and what support might help you.